proper negative pressure compounding techniques must be used if CSTDs are not employed. Negative pressure compounding is very difficult to do properly and generally results in an increase in the time necessary to prepare hazardous drugs, so CSTDs are often an additional advantage to reducing the time it takes to properly prepare HDs while enhancing worker protection. A CSTD is not a substitute for a containment primary engineering control when performing HD compounding. Though not mandated for compounding in USP 800, they should be used when dosage form allows, as evidence has shown a reduction in the frequency and levels of hazardous drug exposure when compared to the use of a needle and a syringe in a standard biologic safety cabinet. CSTDs must be used during the administration of HDs, so depending upon how the drugs are administered, IV tubing must be primed with a neutral solution. The CSTD must be attached to the bag or tubing before the doses are dispensed. Pharmacy must dispense the final HD dose ready for administration without further manipulation. Let's first review the requirements to see how they integrate into best practices for donning and doffing. When entering the anteroom, don hair, face, and beard covers if required. Next, at the line of demarcation, Chapter 800 requires workers to don two pair of shoe covers on each foot. This is a practice change. Two shoe covers are required so that the outer shoe cover may be removed immediately before leaving the containment secondary engineering control, therefore reducing the likelihood of HD residue carried out on the worker's feet. Hand hygiene is performed in the same manner as required under Chapter USP 797. Lather hands to the elbow for up to 30 seconds, rinse, and dry with a lint-free towel. If entering a negative pressure room, ISO class 7 buffer room in this case, it is recommended that the HD gown be donned over a regular front closing gown used for non-hazardous compounding. If entering a non-ISO classified or a containment segregated compounding area, the non-hazardous gown is not required. Gowns used for HD compounding are selected based on the HD handled, must be disposable, back closing, with an elastic or knit cuff that are seamless or have taped seams. When used for sterile compounding, USP 800 requires double gloves tested to the ASTM 697805 with at least the outer glove donned as sterile. However, since the outer gloves are removed inside of the containment primary engineering control prior to the decontamination of the final compounded sterile product, two pairs of sterile gloves are considered best practice. Per chapter USP 797, Gloves donned for sterile compounding occurs in the buffer room or the containment segregated compounding area. Prior to donning gloves, an alcohol-based surgical hand rub with persistent activity must be applied to all surfaces of the hands. When hands are dry, don two pair of sterile gloves. The cuff of the first or inner pair of gloves is placed under the chemo gown's cuff. The outer pair of gloves is donned over the chemotherapy gown cuff. Chemotherapy gloves should be changed every 30 minutes unless otherwise recommended by the manufacturer's documentation and must be changed when worn, torn, punctured, or contaminated. For most activities requiring respiratory protection from particulates, a fit-tested, NIOSH-certified N95 or more protective respirator is sufficient. Consider using a fit-tested, NIOSH-approved full-face, dual-chamber respirator with a multi-gas particulate canister attached if exposure to vapors is likely. After doffing the outer pair of chemo gloves inside the containment primary engineering control, the worker should proceed to the doffing line of demarcation. At this location, the worker will carefully remove the first outer shoe cover while stepping over the doffing line, followed by removing the outer shoe cover of the other foot and stepping over the doffing line again. All PPE removed is placed into trace HD waste receptacles. Slowly and deliberately pull the gown away from the body in an inside out fashion, rolling into a ball and discarding into the trace waste container. Before leaving the HD buffer room, worker must remove the remaining pair of gloves by pulling the first glove off without touching the wrist or skin. Keeping the first glove in the palm of the hand still gloved, carefully slip the forefinger of the bare hand underneath of the cuff of the glove, remove the glove, making an inside out packet of the gloves to discard. Next, exit the buffer room and remove the non-hazardous gown, 
Perform hand hygiene with soap and water and dry your hands. Exit the ante room by crossing the line of demarcation, then remove the last pair of shoe covers, face mask, bouffant cap, and beard cover if applied, and exit the ante room.